The last image attribute I want to show you is how to get text to wrap around your picture. Now, this is called the align attribute. This is something we've already seen when we've moved our text either to the left or the right or the center of our page. And we've put that before in our paragraph, like right here, or in our headline where we've aligned our headline. When we do a picture alignment for text wrap, that can only be left aligning or right aligning. So we can only wrap the text where the picture stays on the left or where the picture stays on the right. If we want to move our images to the middle of the page, that's going to be done using a paragraph tag. So first I want to show you what a left image alignment looks like and a right image alignment looks like. So I'm going to actually do this alignment inside the image tag because it's the image that I want the text to wrap around. So in my first image, this Harper is an address one before the end of my tag. I'm going to space and I'm going to write align equals and then again my quotes. And in this example, I want the text to wrap around and the image to stay on the left. So I'll write align left. In my second image, I'm going to go right before the end of the tag and I'm going to do my align equals quotes and I'm going to do right because I want the image to stay to the right. Now I'm going to move the second image. So I'm just going to copy and paste my code here and I'm going to move it down into where it says here's a list of items that I like about school so that we can see how the text wraps around each image. So right before this, here's a list of items I like about school. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to paste my image code. Now I'm going to save. And when I refresh, I'm gonna see a couple of things. My Harper's in address image right here where I've aligned to the left, the image has stayed on the left and the text has gone to the right. My Harper is stinking cute image where I've aligned to the right, my image has gone to the right, and my text is wrapped around to the left. There's one more itty bitty thing that we can add to our image tag right now in order to add space in between the text and the image. So you can see this is pretty close for the space. We can add yet another attribute. So this goes inside our image tag before the bracket. And if I want to add space in between horizontally, so side to side, that's going to be H space because I'm adding space horizontally equals. And then I'm picking a number. This, the bigger the number, the more space you add. So let's just try 10 here. The same I'll do in this Harper is stinking cute right before the end of my tag. H space equals 10. Now, if I used V space, that would be vertical space. So I would add space above and below my picture. But let's just see what this horizontal space attribute does. Now, when I refresh, you're going to see that I now have space in between the text and my pictures. As I mentioned, there might be a time where you want your image to go into the middle of the page. Now, remember, the align inside the image tag does not work with center. So let's take a look at adding an image into the middle of our page. I'm going to add this image right below my very first HR. And so I'm going to start out. I'm going to have my image, SRC equals, and I believe I have one file left that I need to move. So I've got image underscore Harper dot JPEG. Remember that this needs to go into your root folder. So that's actually the very first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in test website so that my all my images are in the same place as my index.html. So I've got image underscore Harper dot JPEG. I'm going to add a width of 25%. You can do whatever you want. Alt equals harpsicle. And then I am going to end my bracket. If I want this image to go in the center of the page, I'm actually going to place it inside a paragraph that's centered. So I'm going to do a separate P align equals center. And then the only thing in my paragraph is going to be my image. So I'm going to take this ending tag and I'm going to place it after my image is done. So right now I've got the start of a paragraph that's going to go in the center. And then I've got my image of Harper that's happening next. And then I've got the end of my paragraph. So it's going to stop centering. So when I save 
and I refresh, now I've got Harper in the center of my page.